Mata G, tip 16. What are the Four Noble Truths for? It's difficult to put this into three minutes, but I'm determined to do it. <laughs> so I think I have to start where I was going to end. The Four Noble Truths have about three or four applications that Buddha Gautama used when he was using them throughout his career of teaching. The first way that, of course, that's obvious is that it is the framework of the entire teaching of the Buddha concerning suffering, the cause of suffering, the cessation of suffering, and a path to the cessation of that suffering. Most people know this capsule. The second place that is very obvious when we are learning about the teaching from the suttas themselves is that the suttas were set up in a particular structure that mirrors the Four Noble Truths. So if I take the Majjhima Nikaya and go through it from beginning to end with 152 suttas, I'm likely to find most of the suttas that are faced with an issue, the way it occurs, the person comes to the Buddha with the suffering. The Buddha listens to the suffering and then he starts speaking and identifies the cause that may be different than the person thought. Then he shows them how the cessation of suffering would appear and then he gives them a path to follow. The escape from the suffering and the solution comes from practicing the path. So that way he's using the suttas as a teaching method. So now we have the framework of the whole teaching and the teaching method. The third way I like to emphasize is that he uses this whenever he gives a public talk. And if you look at the particular talks about almost any subject, you can almost always go in and frame up what happened by finding how many of these he uses. Suffering and cessation of suffering. Suffering, cause and cessation of suffering suffering and then the path of it and showing precisely how to escape it. So that's another way he uses it in public speaking. The last way that we see how he uses this Four Noble Truths is he uses it as a um, reconciliation with a situation that is threatening between two kings, stopping a war, uh, solving a community issue. And so this is peace reconciliation. And he uses these steps one at a time. He goes through them and he shows people how to work out their solutions that way. The path seems to be an extremely supporting piece because if once you figure out a path for the cessation, for the uh, to eliminate the cause and change it and solve the suffering you have to use the path structure in order to pursue your solution we'll talk more about it now one at a time with examples sadhu sadhu sadhu